Okay, everyone, welcome back to class. I am getting ready to use some clay, and this is straight out of a bag of brand new clay. And so the first thing you wanna do with clay is you wanna make sure that it has been properly wedged. And so commercially available clay that you buy that come in the big 25 pound blocks, normally it's already pre-wedged, but I like to just make extra sure that it's ready to go because we know that any trapped air bubbles in our clay can potentially um, make your artwork <laughs> explode in the kiln and that's never fun. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this um, clay and I'm going to slap it into a ball shape. Now if you have an Apple watch you should take it off. You're going to get a fall warning. Um, if you have on rings you should take those off if you can get them off. I can't get this one off but any jewelry is going to make marks in your clay. Okay so the first thing I'm going to do is with a hand that is in a cup shape I'm going to start slapping this into a ball. Okay. So if you keep your hand in that cup shape, the shape your clay is gonna turn is going to be round, okay? So keep it as a, a cup shape. And it takes a hot minute. Now, I'm also making sure I'm not trapping any air as I'm doing this. So I don't want the clay to fold over on itself and make a pocket. So if I do start getting that, I'm gonna smoosh it out flat before it starts overlapping too much. Okay, so slap, slap, turn is kind of the routine. And you can see if you have a ring on, it's gonna mark your clay. So take off any jewelry first. So right there, I'm making a pocket. So I'm just gonna watch that pocket so it doesn't turn into a trapped air bubble. And this is part of the physical work of clay. So I have my hand in a cup shape. Okay, I'm also holding it in a cup shape. So the first thing we always do is slap it round. Now, the benefit of this too is that it makes it so that the ball has the least surface area. A sphere has the least surface area for the area it contains. And so that makes it so that the water is not escaping from our clay. We always want our clay to be well hydrated. And that means keeping the water in it. And after a while, you'll get a rhythm of slap, slap, turn. Okay, so here's my ball. Now, I have my ball of clay and it's ready. Okay, if I have a ball any bigger than this, I would twist it into two balls, put one in my bag, and then work on just one ball at a time. Now, we are gonna learn how to wedge. So wedging basically is almost like a kneading method that we use to remove air bubbles from clay. Okay, so the thing that you wanna do is you wanna think, it's called a wedge because my hands are making a wedge shape, which is like a triangle. So I wanna try to think about keeping my, the knuckle of my thumb close to the knuckle of my other thumb. And so all I'm gonna do is I'm going to squish it down. And it's not a big squish. If I look at this from the side, I've only squished it that much. So I'm gonna squish it down. I'm gonna roll it up towards me and I'm gonna squish it down again. So you can see that's the wedge shape that you're making. That's why it's called wedging. So I'm gonna do this over and over and over until I start getting rid of any air bubbles that are in there. Okay, and you get kind of like a rock motion, up, wedge. And at no point am I making my clay flat. You can see it's a wedge shape and I have a couple little cracks. And so as I'm doing this, I'm gonna periodically pat it with a little bit of water. I don't wanna dump water on this. I don't wanna dip it in water. That's a favorite student mistake is dipping it in water. And all that does is make it super sticky and messy. Okay, so if you have trapped clay, what's gonna happen is this leading edge right here, or sorry, if you have trapped air. If you have trapped air, this leading edge is going to eventually start to have little air bubbles come popping out on the leading edge. Okay, if you start having clay come off and stick on the table, you're just going to grab a wood knife like this, scrape that clay, and put it right back into the mass of the clay that you're working with. Okay, always avoiding trapping air. And so, as you go, you can see there's the wedge shape that we're making. And this is the only clay skill where you really need to have a, it just on the table. Okay, everything else, 
you're going to want to have a clay board or a wrapped canvas board something like this to work on but unfortunately i can't really wedge on this because it scooches all around while i'm working and so once you get a good rhythm going you're going to go to about a count of 30. And one of the things I do when I'm wedging that helps me keep my hands in the right position is I lift my fingers up. And you can see when you're wedging properly, this is the end that faces towards you and this is the side. Okay. So anytime I wedge, I go to a count of 30. And after a while with this, you kind of get a rocking motion to the back you bring it up and wedge, up and wedge. Okay, so flare those hands out and make sure you're not folding it over on itself. And so once I've gone through this enough times and there's no popping air bubbles right there and I haven't been folding it over on itself, then I will go ahead and slap it right back into a ball and then my clay is ready to use. And this is a skill that takes some practice. It's also a good forearm workout. So, okay, that feels pretty good. I can feel as I'm wedging that my clay has a smooth feel to it. And all of this, there's no air bubbles popping out. There's my wedge shape. Once I've done it about 30 times, then I'm gonna slap it right back into a ball so I can use it. And this clay is all smooth and nicely worked now. And so it should slap into a ball really nicely. You can see I'm bringing my fingers out every time I do my wedge motion. Okay, so now that that's ready to go, I can take this with the same cupped hand, slap, 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 slap into a ball. You can see how quickly that takes on a round shape. Always using a cupped hand to slap it. And there we go. Now my clay is ready to use, okay? Before I do anything with it, I'm gonna make sure that I don't have any clay that's getting wasted and that my work area is clean and well wiped off. Okay, and there we have it. That clay is ready to use now.